This is WQIR 514, Atlanta 947. My name is Julie with this week's new user tips and operating procedure segment. This week we will talk about antennas, grounding, and bonding. Antennas and grounding go hand in hand. Virtually all radio systems antennas utilize some form of grounding. Base stations, mobile radios, and even handheld radios all have a grounding system. A handheld grounding system isn't obvious, but it's there through the magic of capacitive coupling. The body of the radio held in your hand couples to your body making you the ground system for the radio. Mobile radios use the metal body of the car. Cars today don't have much metal, as in the past, but still more than enough to serve as counterpoise to the radiating element. But the most complicated grounding system is that of a base station. At its most basic, the shield of the coax can be part of the grounding system, but a properly installed base antenna will consist of a well-grounded station, including its own grounding rod, driven near the mast of the antenna, and a proper lightning arrestor. And according to the NEC, National Electric Code, all of this is bonded to the building's electrical grounding system. These are just a few of the preferred practices of North Georgia GMRS, and these procedures are how we become the best operators on the nation's largest, most advanced linked repeater network. And remember, if you have any questions or suggestions for new user tips and operating procedures, send me a note at julie at ng.gmrs.org. We are North Georgia GMRS Network, and this is WQIR 514, Atlanta 947. My name is Julie. Good night, everyone.